Today I'm gonna go over a tileable steam engine setup for Quiet Mod which will produce over 65,000 stress units available via two outputs and you can use them in your factory or you can even convert them to FE or RF using the Create Additions mod. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So this entire build fits perfectly inside a single chunk. So here are the chunk borders. I have divided the entire area into four equal parts because the build is going to be mirrored both on the X axis and the Z axis. So to start building this, pick any one side and start placing stairs on the very edge like this. So there are going to be total 16 stairs leaving a one block gap placed down stairs facing this. We are going to water lock them in order to turn them into an infinite source of water. So water lock all of these stairs on both of the sides and now we can start placing our pipes first so the reason for placing pipes first is so that we can have individual pipes running for each and every tank so leave a one block gap in the middle and place pipes alternating like this and with your wrench right click on these pipes in order to convert them into their transparent variant now these pipes won't connect to the normal pipes now on top of these pipes place down the fluid pump and on top of the fluid pump place down two more pipes but only right click with the wrench on the bottom ones like this. Now in the gaps that have been placed in the middle basically you can place down pump and pipes but this time only extend them up by one pipe not by two. So basically this will give a very clean look to the entire build. And once all of the pipes and pumps have been placed, we can get rid of the blocks that have been placed here, converting them into infinite sources of water. And looks like I missed a spot here. So this one is going to be a normal pipe like this. Now with all of the pipes placed, we can start placing our heat source on the back side, which is going to be campfire, turning the entire steam engine into a level one steam engine. On top of the campfire, place down four fluid tanks and basically we are going to repeat this process for all of the campfires. Once you have completed the placement of fluid tanks, you will notice that all of the pipes automatically connect to the tanks like this. Now in order to convert these tanks into steam engines, just right click on the very top block with the steam engine like this. And in order to get the power out, we are going to click with a shaft. But remember that this shaft should be placed in a horizontal orientation, not a vertical one. Because the vertical one, you won't be able to connect them. So that's why just start placing shafts in horizontal orientation and they will all connect like this. Now you can see the calculation on your screen here. We have total 16 interconnected pumps for powering the steam engine. 8 pumps require 2048 stress units which will be provided by a single level 1 boiler. So leaving 2 blocks gap from the stair, on the 3rd block place down a campfire with fluid tanks. Once again we are going to make a level 1 engine but this time place the steam engine on the very bottom block like this. It will make it easier to connect the power to the pumps. And the shaft should be in vertical orientation like this not the horizontal orientation. Now in order to supply water to this boiler, I am again going to make an infinite source of water using two water lock stairs like this. And here we can have a pump with a pipe going inside or basically into the side of this boiler. So here we connect the fluid pipe and yeah basically this single steam engine will be enough to run 8 pumps. We have total 16 that's why exactly to the mirror opposite, we are going to make another level 1 boiler like this. Now in order to run these boilers, we need to power the water pumps. And for powering the water pumps, I am going to use a water wheel. So leaving the edge block like this, dig out a 3x3 area and it should be 3 blocks deep in total. Place down a single block and then facing down like this, place your water wheel. So seeing the direction of the spokes, the direction or basically the flow of water should be evident and if you have placed it correctly, you will generate maximum power which will be 320 stress units. 
but this is at 20 rpm we need to bump this number up to 80 and that's why we are going to multiply this by 2 so the small cogwheel right now is running at 40 rpm and here we are going to place a clutch in order to turn this entire setup on and off so this clutch is pretty important place down a redstone link and shift right click with an empty hand to turn it into receiving mode now you can set the frequency to anything you want i am going to set frequency 1 to small cogwheel and frequency 2 to large cogwheel looks pretty cool and now you can set down another redstone link but this time don't right click it this will mean that it is in transmitting mode and now if i flick this lever on you will see that the clutch disengages therefore turning the shaft off now we can place down another large cogwheel with a small one running like this leading directly into the pump so now this pump will run at 80 rpm and thus it will consume total 320 stress units because the pump's stress impact is four times the rpm that it is running at so we are using the entire power output of the water wheel now when you are placing the other water wheel if you want to maintain symmetry then make sure to place it in the opposite direction connections are going to be the same you will have a clutch a large cogwheel and three small cogwheels leading directly into the pump and once all of that is done you can cover up this entire setup and basically we are ready to power our small boiler or the one boiler now to connect these boilers the output of these boilers with all of the pumps first place down a large cogwheel here and then going diagonal from it place down a small cogwheel so basically this entire setup right now will run at 16 rpm we want to bump this number up to 64 rpm so that's why right now on the small cogwheel we have 32 rpm and now if we place down another small cogwheel like this this is going to run at 64 rpm and in a similar fashion we are going to connect like this and now all 16 of the pumps are connected to the cogs now if i place a stressometer there and i flick the lever on it will start the pump. but before you do that make sure that the pumps are facing the correct direction and even if they are facing in correct direction once that starts spinning it will flip direction as you can see here and that's why the system is overstressed so in order to fix that just right click once again with your wrench and now both of the pumps should be facing the right direction and there we go all of the main pumps have started running and cause they are running basically that doesn't mean yeah that you won't have to fix their direction as well because they will flip their direction once they receive rotational power but once you have fixed the direction of all of the pumps which is very important all of the boilers will start running and you will get 32,768 stress units which is 2,048 times 16. now you just need to multiply or basically copy this entire build and basically flip it in a mirror formation so here as you can see i have flipped the entire build and i have set all of the pumps in the right direction and here also we are getting the same stress units at 16 rpm so we have two output shafts giving out over 32,000 stress units we can convert all of those stress units into rf or fe which is forge energy using the alternator from create crafts and additions mod now in order to do that we need to convert the 16 rpm that we have into 256 rpm which is the maximum for that we need to multiply the entire speed by 4 this is how you do it using 4 set of cogwheels and once that's done connect all of the alternators using gearbox and shafts and you can see that they are now producing their maximum output which is 180 fe per tick so basically the alternators have a stress impact of 32 times the speed that they are running at so for maximum it is 32 times 256 which is 8192 stress units so in order to check you can place down a stressometer and you can see that we are using the entire capacity of our boiler setup and uh, yeah we are converting all of those stress units 
into forge energy now to store all of that the block that we are going to use is the accumulator but you can use energy cells from thermal expansion or immersive engineering basically forge energy whichever mod supports it you can store it in there now you can use the connector and the wire provided by this mod or you can also use energy cable from different mods like for example pipes so i'm going to connect all of the connectors like this and in order to push the power in here set the connection to push and what this will do is by default set all of the other connections to pull and now we are transferring the maximum power to our storage system which is going to be 14,000 no sorry 1440 fe per tick which is roughly 30,000 fe per second so yeah if you enjoyed this video leave it a like and subscribe peace out and stay safe